Hi there. I never thought I'd be making one of these videos again. Or even at this time of year. But yes, I am, I am making this because, uh, well, I went to Fan Expo for one day, Friday, this year. For the first time since 2014. I went to Fan Expo in 2013, and I went again in 2014, and then nothing. I never went back there for all this time until now. I've expressed before in my Anime North 2019 and 2018 videos, and I'm sure probably some other convention videos, that like... The reason why I stopped going to Fan Expo was simple. It was just way too late in the summer. And I want the convention, to, a convention I go to, to be early as it can be in the summer. Like maybe even in March, if, you know, the opportunity came, maybe I go to a convention in March. But going to a convention like this late in the summer or even something like September, October is just not fucking worth it to me. Because, well, I mean, obviously I go to conventions for re other reasons, but a big focus, no shit, is Pine Games. And in the case of summer, you know, I'm going to move this. In the case of summer, it's my favorite time of the year, and as a result, I like to buy and play as many games as I can throughout it. Of course, I'm buying games all year. It doesn't matter when it is in the year. I buy games all the fucking time. But I like to buy as much as I can. In the case of Anime North, it's nice and early on. I can save up as much money as I can and buy just a whole bunch of great stuff and just have it be one big highlight of the summer. It's pretty hard to do that in the case of Fan Expo, because again, here comes the end. I appreciate more games and I appreciate the convention, but you know, what follows after it is just fuck, because you know, like, I fucking hate September. I think September's fucking garbage. Same with October, November, and yeah, even December. Like, fuck those months. Um, that's why, even after the convention, I wanted to lead to something even better, and that's what Anime North does, and that's what, in theory, Con Bravo could have done. But, you know, obviously I was a day late and a dollar short and that convention just didn't fucking have what people wanted. It didn't even have as many game stores, you know. Not as not the same guests people wanted, just a lack of game stores. And I didn't go this year and I didn't go last year, but I heard their attendance was weak as hell in 2019, so... Or this year, so fuck. So the reason why I went back was just more so, like, sheer curiosity, you know. Because, like, the last time I went, I was in... I was still in school, like... You want to talk about fucking bad things leading after a convention? How about that shit? Fucking going to the convention and then immediately leading after comes school. And again, just like the other two times, I only went for one day. I don't know if I'll ever go all, like, four days. Um, but, like, this was more satisfying uh, in some ways. Let me see how long this video is. Feel a lot more satisfying than the um, the other uh, times. Well, you know I'm older. I have a lot more games than I uh, did back in 2013 and 14. I was alone this time, so there was a little more freedom. I'm not saying I have anything wrong with going to a convention with friends, but again, that was a factor because again, most of the conventions I've gone to, I've been alone. Um, I did actually kind of consider getting something signed there, because, you know, obviously that's what makes Fan Expo so popular, is the amount of celebrities that they have there. They have some really, cr you know, crazy stuff, and, you know, you have to pay up the ass if you want a picture or a photo or... Picture or photo, that's so redundant. If you want a photograph or an autograph. In my case, I did consider getting um, Tales of Berseria on PS4, signed by Christina V. And if you don't know who Christina V is, well, she is the individual who voiced this lovely individual, Velvet Crow, in this game. I don't really know much of her other work a ton, you know, like she does Sailor Mars in the Viz Media dub of Sailor Moon and, you know, in Shantae, I believe, and it's one of the games. But, you know, I thought for that reason I would get the uh, disc of this signed, but that didn't happen. It was both a case of just money and just kind of, eh, I don't know if I'm really feeling it. Um, it. It cost 30 bucks to get an autograph from her, and obviously depending on who the celebrity is, it will cost more. But uh, in the end, I just didn't see it to be entirely worth it. 
even if I had a little more money, I was very on the fence of it, but it would have been cool to, you know, get some sort of piece of Tales of History, uh, you know, signed by somebody who was involved with it, because I love this series. I don't hold uh, Berseria as near and dear as uh, Vesperia, Symphonia, and Tales of the Abyss, but it's still definitely a great game. But, you know, yeah, that didn't happen. Though if they had Charles Martinet uh, there, then I would have stopped everything and got something signed. Maybe something non-Mario related, just kind of for shits and giggles. He was there one of those years, but, you know, I wasn't there for that. So, um, yeah, again, I just went for curiosity's sake and just to get a couple more games, really. That was kind of the excuse, but come next year, I'll hopefully be able to get games sooner. Because that's the thing, you gotta get these games as soon as I can. At least that's how I feel about the, um subject matter. The whole trip in general was just kind of all over the place, like, I it, it, early on in the footage I talked about how I was going to go to McDonald's at Union Station and that didn't happen, and later I was like, oh, I'm finally going to get some food, or like, how I was going to get food at a pizza pizza little vendor that they have, you know, um, set up. And I know that, like, you know, naturally it was going to be more expensive, but I was like, well, let's see. Maybe I'll actually give it a shot, because maybe I'm desperate enough. Maybe I'm hungry enough. Well, I ended up not going there, because I think it was something ridiculous, like 10 bucks for a slice and a Coke, and just like, fuck that. Okay? Fuck that. Um, and, and then, you know, I was like, well, I'll just walk out to McDonald's, but in the end, I just kind of settled on Subway, you know, because um, I was really hungry. I needed a f fucking whole 12-inch sub. Uh, so yeah, the, the footage is kind of all over the place, but you know, that's just how it is. I almost did go with a couple friends of mine, but, um, like my friend Juan, but he couldn't go because he thought that it was actually taking place during the last weekend of, um, August, and when he found that out, he was like, well, fuck, I can't go. And that's kind of the same case, um, with my friend fully, but not so much uh, missed timing, but rather because when he found out that Juan wasn't going, they were just like, well, shit, you know. So, yeah, that's that. My friend Alex did go, so that's uh, something. I didn't run into him, though. I guess I could have gave him a call, but, you know, obviously this could have been something so much bigger and better, but in the end, I sound like a broken record here, but the convention's too late in the summer. I did make with do with what I had, you know, I did, um make the most out of it, and I did enjoy it for what it was worth. But I can't say I'm too disappointed on any sort of, you know, um, mishaps or faults that will go on then, because, well, my expectations aren't that high to begin with, but, you know, yeah. I don't know if I'll go back. Maybe, uh, if there's a certain, you know, guest that they have that I need to, you know, get something signed or see... And yeah, I think that would be the case, but you know, I just gotta prepare better, you know, I'll get some more money and I'll be able to get all the games, or at least most of the games I want and need, ready for next summer. In this case, for the games that I bought this year, or, you know, at this year's uh, convention, um, they'll be decent additions and neat little distractions for the meantime. I don't know if they'll necessarily, like, you know, I don't know how much they'll shine, shall we say, like... You know, I'll... How, how do I describe it? Well, it's like, I got classic NES series Super Mario Bros. on the Game Boy Advance. It's like, I can play that and beat that, you know, now. It doesn't matter. It doesn't necessarily feel better or worse playing it now as opposed to, like, early on in the summer. I got Gundam Versus on PS4, which, you know, I did mess around with a bit, but I guess maybe I'll play it more come, like, next May and April, but even then, it's not something I was too crazy over, but something I was curious enough to want and get, and I'm glad I did. You know, just things like that. But in the end, of course, I really need to start buying some more games online, because, well, that's where everything is, pretty much. You know, there's a lot of uh, variety in games around me where I live, but of course, it's not everything. You know, that's just to be, that's just how it is. Okay, I'm kind of getting off topic here. Uh, anyways, here's some footage uh, that's just kind of all over the place from the convention, and then later you'll get some pickups, so, yeah.
This video is brought to you by Cutting Edge Gamer. If you upgrade graphics cards often, Cutting Edge Gamer is the perfect option for you. At least the newest graphic cards on the market such as Nvidia's RTX 20 series for a low monthly payment. <laughs> click the affiliate low and click the affiliate link in the description below to find out more. Why hello there. So, I am going to uh, Fan Expo for the first time in about um, 5 years. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm just uh, just kind of looking around my friends. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to go to the bank real quick, and then I'm going to go to uh, Tim Hortons just to get an apple juice, because, you know, you got to stay hydrated. I'm sure there's a Tim Hortons at a Union Station where I'm going to get off, but uh, it might be a bit crowded, but it, it's weird because there's a McDonald's there, and I'm going to, you know, get some food there too, so either way, I'm going to have to deal with, you know, some crowded lines probably, because, you know, it, it's fucking Fan Expo. Yeah, that's the way of the road. Boston Pizza. I'm glad that now they, they actually have like badges and a lanyard compared to, you know, the f uh, first times I went to them. They this hallway just couldn't be any longer if it tried. I've made it to uh, something. Yeah. What? Where to start? Where to start? I don't think I've even been to this section of uh, the convention when I went last the first two times. There's all the uh, celebrity autographs and whatnot. I don't have the fucking money to get anything, but you know, it's, it's there. Now this is a little more of my familiar territory. I just, you know, entered from like a completely different route than the first two times, so uh, yeah. Look at all those lemons, and there's pizza pizza. Might be fucking expensive, maybe even more expensive than what, what they would be normally, but at the same time, I know I talked about going to McDonald's, but I don't know if I really feel like tr backtracking there at the moment, but we'll see. I still have an eight, so, you know, fuck me. There's comics. Yeah. There's Game of Mania. This Jason. Yeah, I was gonna say, can you hold it for like 10 minutes? I saw Konami Crazy Racers on a Game Boy Advance for 20 bucks. I'm considering it, but you know, I obviously need to look around. More. See it? The infamous Iceman Games. Let's, uh, let's go take a look. I started it like. Uh, Hi. 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 Hi.
on 3DS. Will I ever play through it? Well, here's my first purchase. This fucking game. Yeah, see the shirt? Here it is. I'm curious about this port I Strike Gunner STG. Still a fucked up name. Doing it now? Shadows of Valencia? Alright, well, I'll see if I have some Because uh, I guess McDonald's will have to wait till uh, later tonight. You just casually have all these boxed black box games, you know, no, no biggie. Hey, look, it's more of that Ramune that uh, probably isn't very good compared to you know others. Despite me showing uh, Pizza Pizza, I did not actually go to Pizza Pizza because, uh, well, I've kind of had it a lot recently. And I'm more so in the mood for McDonald's, not to mention it's obviously more fucking expensive at the convention. So, yeah, let's go to fucking McDonald's. Legend, man. Yeah. Yes. It's gonna be more fulfilling than McDonald's anyways, so yeah. Well, they're about to close, so uh, yeah. Actually, let me check the exact time right here. So yeah, eight minutes. Can you focus? Why is this fucking camera so useless when it comes to focusing? Uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, Ah, look at that. They even shut down the downwards escalator as if telling people to fucking leave. Nice stairs. So these are my pickups. As you can see, it's not much. I didn't really prepare for this uh, financially, and I'm not sure if I will get again. As I mentioned many times earlier in the video, conventions just way too late in the summer, and well, yeah, there are of course you know, games I'll want to get, you know, there if I see them, and of course I buy games, you know, regardless of the time period of year. The point still stands, and honestly, I don't know if I'll be going back there unless there's, you know. Certain fucking guest that I really want, you know, to see. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. Um, but in terms of what I got, well, here it is. I got um, Pro Evolution Soccer 2013 3D, you know, PEZ, or as it says, PEZ 2013 Pro Evolution Soccer 3D. It was five bucks, and uh, well, this is my 
first time getting a 3DS game at a convention. You know, it's my 32nd 3DS game overall, which just goes to show I haven't bought enough 3DS games. And yeah, um, this game normally goes for like 20 on eBay, so it's nice to have that for that kind of price. And it was it's pretty good. I I like it more than a Pez 2011 3D on the 3DS. So there's that. Now I just need to get a Pez 2012. There's also um a 2014, but that one was only released in Japan. So yeah, there's that. We have a uh, Guilty Gear Dust Strikers for the DS. You can tell they called it Dust Strikers, you know, because DS. Haha, <laughs> funny. Um, this is my second Guilty Gear game. The first one being a uh, Guilty Gear Exerd Sign on PS4. Um, I just really, really obviously needed a fighting game for the DS. And, uh, you know, this one's, of course, cheap. Um, it's decent, you know. It's, I kind of get a kick out of it, of course. It makes uh, fair enough use of, of course, both screens and whatnot. There's also mini games which I haven't tried out, but, yeah, I'm glad to have that. Uh, here we have Gundam Versus for the PS4. Um, I did... I bought this at uh, Iceman Games, and Iceman Games was, of course, at Anime North. And I would not be surprised if this is the exact same copy that they had then. Though I'm sure that can be said for a lot of games, because, you know, let's face it, for everything that sells, there's, like, fucking, you know, 30 games that don't sell, you know, at these conventions. Um, but, you know, this is another neat thing to have. This came out in 2017, and, uh... It's one of the few times I actually remember a uh, PS4 game actually coming out, you know, around the time, you know, unless it, besides the obvious, you know, like, popular stuff, you know, this is obviously not as popular, so, yeah. Of course, uh, N64 stuff, as you know, blah, 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 getting all 388 N64 games, so, of course, I have to get some things, you know, I have to get at least one N64 game for, per month, in the case of August, I got... 2 slash 3. The third one was just rebuying a boxed, was rebuying International Superstar Soccer 64 in the box. But in case of the two new games, we got All-Star Baseball 2000. Now I have all three All-Star Baseballs on the N64, and uh, well, I can't exactly tell you which one's the best one. I don't know. This one's kind of cool. I kind of like the cover art, you know. It's very baseball-like with the bases and the sliding and the fucking guy. So, yeah. And uh, then there's... So that was like five bucks. That was 15. That was uh, 33, I want to say. You know, and uh, here we have Monster Truck Madness 64, which was $25. You know, um... Yeah, it's... Uh, of course, another racing game off the list, and the only monster truck game on the N64, and a pretty neat one. Um, I do think it could be a little less foggy in graphics, and a little less blurry. I mean, of course, that's a trademark of the N64, but come on, you could have done a little better uh, Rockstar Games and Microsoft, but nevertheless, it's still very good to have. And then this was the first thing I bought, the most interesting, maybe not the most interesting, but like, Definitely an intriguing one for sure. This is, of course, classic NES series Super Mario Bros. on the Game Boy Advance. The uh, second one of these that I have, uh, I've had classic NES series Bomberman on GBA for years, but that was free. I've never actually bought a classic NES series game because I'd rather just buy the original game on the NES. In the case of this, well, I had to have this, you know. Being a retired Mario 1 warpless speedrunner, I need to try out as many versions of Mario 1 as I can. I mean, I still haven't tried things like Versus, Super Mario Bros, or All Night Nippon, Super Mario Bros, or even, like, Super Mario Bros Special. But, uh, here's one. It's not that great. The music's, of course, muffled to hell and back in the scaling, you know, of screen size. Because it's not screen crunch. They actually, you know, drew it properly to fit on the Game Boy Advance. Kind of, but the screen crunch and not screen crunch, the screen drawing that aspect ratio, if you know what I mean, is just really fucking ugly. It's just, it, it's a sport that struggles to run. And uh, compared to the um, Game Boy Advance port of Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels, you know, which was of course Japan only, 
this one's kind of insulting almost. And even compared to other uh, classic NES series games like, uh, you know, Zelda 2 and Castlevania. I don't know, it's just, it's just a weird fucking kind of lackluster port of Mario 1, but it is a version of Mario 1, so of course I had to have it. So yeah, that's that. Uh, I don't know what the fuck else to say other than we'll wait till next Anime North. We'll go in really strong there. And Fan Expo is probably just done for me. Again, unless there's a guest that I really need to see.